Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a paint session. We're going to be continuing the Spark Shad series with a couple of different color shift patterns with still keeping the pearls as our underlying color on these transparent baits. So come on, join me. We're going to spray some paint. We got our Norman Deep, Loop, Deep Little In. Again, if you hadn't seen these, I'll link a video in the video description um, to the Lure Net website. I'm not an affiliate or sponsor, uh, not sponsored by them. I bought these bundles with my own money, but I really like them. The Deep Little Ends, uh, you can get the Norman uh, DD-22 among several other bodies there that uh, are genuine Norman blanks and uh, they got the complete kit to where you can package them the whole nine yards. So. What we're going to be doing again is our uh, spark shad lineup, and we're going to be going with the uh, ghost green as our primary base color here. We got to get our gun running. We're going to go ahead and cover the whole bait. We just want to put down kind of a little medium coat. Really don't want it wet here. Uh, again, gives it a real nice ghosted green appearance to it. Uh, we've got our transparent base as a carrier. All right, next uh, set of pearls that we're going to throw down is going to be our, uh, we're going to go with a purple. Next part, we're going to lay down our black back color. So next up, uh, we're going to go ahead and do our back color. We're going to do a color shift paint that I mixed up from eye candy to Sami. Um, it's uh, right there. It's a uh, ultra shift color, blue to green. We've got it mixed up in our gun, and we want to go real light coats here. Just over that black. We're gonna let that dry. That is mixed with the uh, UVLS clear, so we need to uh, we need to let that sit about ten minutes before we come over it with another coat. They really don't recommend that you use a. Uh, any kind of heat in order to, to, to cure it. So we will just let it set for just a few minutes and I'll come right back to you. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and we're gonna go pearl white belly. Come back over our two Sami. It's been about 10 minutes.
Okay, there's coat, coat number two. Not sure if you can see it, but as I rotate that back, that blue really starts to come in, starts to come in, and the green at the front. I'll get a headlamp, I'll get us a good bright light, uh, flashlight, something, and uh, I think it'll be a lot more, give you a lot more of the look. And again, once we clear coat this, that's when it really is gonna bring out that color shift. So. We'll let that cure. We'll be right back in about 10 minutes. Got our shed dot. Good and dry. So we'll go coat number three. Oh yeah, that's that's really starting to show now. Even without the clear coat. There's the green and the dark blue. Man, that's going to look good. It's going to look good. Not really getting it on the side, probably because we don't have such a rounded edge, but we'll come back and once this dries and we'll kind of hit this, this side just a little bit more and let it go ahead and drift down into some of that green and purple, but Really starting to see the color shift in it now. So we'll give it another five, 10 minutes. This is the most difficult part of uh, dealing with the UVLS is the 10 minute period to dry. And sometimes I just don't wait it, but we're gonna give it a little bit so that we get a real, real good effect. It actually dries pretty quick on these baits. Uh, again, I mi mix that about, it's uh, all UVLS clear with two little knife blades, two and a half knife blades. Well, I say a knife blade. I just scooped, uh, scooped it out of the package with that. Just covered that knife blade, two of them to UVLS. And uh, went about 10% on the uh, 4011 in order to uh, get it to be a real good sprayable mixture. So, five more minutes. Pretty high pressure here, about 35. Perfect. That was just four drops uh, of my paint I created there uh, in order to do that one bait. So four drops of Tusami to one drop, 4011. It's got a real good color shift to it. And then we put the Hot Rod Sparkle Purple, or this was actually the Highlight Purple. So that's a real fine, fine. Uh, the difference between the Highlights, the Cosmics, and the Hot Rod Sparkle is these are just a really smooth. These are great for fishing lures when we're doing our scale patterns, uh, even as, uh, you know, a final coat like this. I really thought I'd grab the hot rod sparkle to get some of that pearl flake in it, but again, you can see that uh, really nice effect. Tusami Spark Shad. How about that? That's what I'm going to call it. 
That way I'll remember the colors that I put in it. Anyway, um, not a real long video. Uh, these are very, really simple patterns. It's just all about layering of the uh, pearls and the color shift paints to utilize it and get some great uh, transparent bodies for your clear water. So until next week, Green Country Baits, signing out.